Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Start heading south. Don't let them drag you down with them. Everybody be cool. Oh! 
safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks. For coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. He didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. I didn't think it would be. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but... starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer with that more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Suck. 
gonna try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. Forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arms. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through is lost. Yeah, I noticed that too. We're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. Slow pokes. Need a second. Sorry, just, just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Penny, come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. That's enough! Leave him alone! Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with you. He doesn't have to train him. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got Clem if I need him. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. No, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes, you're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. Yeah, makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back.
Question mark? It's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, planning looks a little... Guess how far this place is. Luke's feeling bad about it. What? Really? It's not your fault. Bad things happen and we can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. Can we drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Katie's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. I don't know if he'll let me. You may not, but you ought to try. It's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Well, we know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. parents would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. Dennis. You like that? Well, I think AJ proves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm alright. I mentioned it earlier. Bonnie. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't.
let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! He doesn't speak much English. No shit! Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. Still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. I'll see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. You're a natural. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. Today's my birthday. Here as I can tell, at least. Definitely this week. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. That's pretty old. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You can minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Saving it for a special occasion. While it being your birthday and all. Figure. This is as good a time as any. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I feel a little guilty taking the first. Oh, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And 
to the hope that we see them again someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah. I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. Baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. The good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting out of this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. Ed was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and buds. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Eh, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. Alright, All right. it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? Oh, I think we could bet on that. As you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry, it's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this and change the words. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sit? It's okay. Um, 
sure. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No. That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wherever you like. Sorry about your sister. Leave me alone, please. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. Broken 
like that was too much for her. It should have been too much for me. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, you don't have to justify that with your response. I find it's best to just get this stuff out and open. That's wrong. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. Whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. Thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. They do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best. Leave to me alone! I'm sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really? I am. Uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice and all lasted. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. It can't be much further. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah! Kenny! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built! We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. 
Fireplace. Very warm. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? We should have stuck to the tree line. Fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. Там твердо. Say it in American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. Oh shit, ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fun. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. Christ. We have to 
get her warm. She's gonna freeze to death. It's just gone. It looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. I tried to help him. I just. Said I started to go. There wasn't nothing there. Really was I tried to help him. He just. Oh God. You son of a bitch. This is your fucking fault. Kenny, don't, man. The what? It's nobody's damn fault. Fire started. Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. But those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit. Yeah, Teddy. Fuck you. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help me? I was beating a kid to death going to help anyone. This is your fault, and you damn well know. Let me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a light? I thought I had matches. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? He's gone. I've lost people before, but he just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He was a great guy. you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. 
feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we could get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on, let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch, but he taught me respect. Earl like Jane learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me and mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. Get out on the road, really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Those rumors can't all be bunk. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago. Just before I met Ken. Turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Come on inside. I don't like leaving it with that girl. I wish they'd finished this place. Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ.
Looks broken. Busted. Looks like it's about to collapse. Want one? Sure. <coughs> huh. Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Go on. You can be honest. All the time. Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I think people respect me. Really? I think so. Well, good for you, honey. You know, I've been all over, run with a lot of people, a lot of men, listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. 
puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. You got it working. Better talk some sense into him. For his sake. scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. 
A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we gonna find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me, and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. We gotta be ready.
Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Like that in the first place. 
Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? What the fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please, this is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Jane, Kenny loves Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. I can't talk back yet. Fuck you! You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! Fucking piece of shit! Where the hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem. You all right? Yeah. Penny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Right? If you're going, go now. Penny... I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but... Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! I'll just sit there! Hurry!
okay? Where's the kid? Hey, where is he? She was trying to 
kill me too. If she lied about Alvin here, wouldn't have went that far. I just why would she? She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda, that was looking out for herself. Listen, I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagine what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. I, I believe you. Me to hold him? Nah, he's still light. We're fine. Come on, I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Albie, we got this. You cheated. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think so, dear. So, this is Wellington, right? A lot of people call it that. Okay, so what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are you kit. giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change in you a few months. you fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. So we're supposed to just take this and go? But we have a baby. This, this is hard for me too. I don't want to turn anyone away, especially children. 
But... Just take the kids. What? Please. Just take the kids. It's too dangerous out here for them. Penny, I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. safe out there. 